We then have our prettiest bitch semi-finalists. And they come, the prettiest cross at breed bitches. Followed by our golden oldies. And the semi-finalists in the category of the Good Citizen Dog Scheme. So the four groups Please making give their way in. They come into the arena. They have done so, so well to make it into our Scruffs semi-final. They're a young handler here as well, which is great to see. It is about family crossbreed dogs. So earlier this morning. Earlier so this all morning, our semi-finalists are in the arena now the for this family crossbreed dog of the year he competition. And we will shortly be finding out which through. four are going to be either. the finalists from which the overall winner will be decided. Here tonight. Let's welcome Radzi, Faye Winter and Paul Rawlings. In you come. Well, our judge from the semi-final, Paul Rawlings, and it's our very own Radzi alongside Faye Winter of uh, Love right, Island and right. Celebrity MasterChef, who will have the task of choosing the uh, finalists. Nervous? I feel like a little bit, maybe a little tiny bit. Look at them all, they're beautiful. How are you meant to pick? Oh, you've got to. Sorry about that. Radzi, all right? I'm very well. I feel like I should be interviewing you rather than this way around. You have been all week. Yeah, it's a privilege to be here. This is a special arena. It's an incredible event. And to be part of Scruffs is a privilege. So I'm pumped to do this. Pumped. Paul, were you pumped at 9 o'clock this morning? I was very nervous, I'll tell you. These guys out here with these dogs, they're all amazing. They're all winners. They're all winners. You're absolutely right. Right. Congratulations. Give them a round of applause. John, bring them forward. OK. The finalist for the Scruffs Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year. Firstly, the most handsome crossbreed dog. Our finalist is Eve Norton with Buck. Uh, this is Buck from Battle Near Hastings, and Buck is a Lurcher Saluki cross. Who has won the most our handsome crossbreed finalist, dog. Our second finalist, our prettiest crossbreed bitch, with Violet Catherine Dolan. Three-year-old Violet comes forward, Patterdale Lakeland Terrier cross. This is Catherine Dolan with her daughter Grace. They've made the final from the prettiest crossbreed bitch competition. And now our golden oldie crossbreed finalist with 13-year-old Diesel Claire Whitehead. Our fabulous dog this is. You'll be intrigued by the story that we heard during the semi-final, the Airedale Labrador cross. 13 years of age, Diesel, along with Claire Whitehead. And finally, our good citizen dog scheme, the crossbreed finalist, with Marnie Lynn Freeman. Marnie is a six-year-old mixed breed from Harlow, a so, rescue dog. Well so Marnie, all our four along well with Lynn Freeman, make up the four the finalists now for Radzi and for Faye to then decide Why the winner. It's time for you to go and have a word with our four finalists when we hear from John exactly what the stories are. Do you have any clue what the stories are? No, but to be, I mean, the four finalists, we know we've got four special dogs and Crufts. If it's a special Crufts dog, it's a really special dog, so we can't wait to find out. Go for it. On you go. So, John. Thank you, Nick. So, our so first the judges, Radzi and Faye, will be speaking to the owners and the finding out the stories the, of the dogs. Uh, so we've got Eve Buck Norton. here, who is the Lurcher and Saluki Buck, cross uh, with owner Lurcher Eve Norton. And a little bit of deer hound mixed in there as well, said Eve during the semi-finals. Exactly now, Buck had pancreatitis as a puppy, and, and Eve was very grateful to the vets for diagnosing that in time so that Buck could make a full recovery. Eve describes Buck as timid as a puppy, but says he's really come out of his shell since regaining his health and growing up. Very poorly he was as a puppy, being diagnosed with pancreatitis, but... It's a very, very special dog indeed for Eve. Buck is four years old, recovery, and they and live in Battle Near Hastings. His best life at home and they came through the dog Pete. show in and Kent. And that is what it is all about, ladies and gentlemen. to make it here 
to the Scruffs semi-final and now indeed the final. Well, Buck loves nothing more than going for a big walk and also coming everywhere with Eve, including to visit Eve's horse and, of course, going to the pub. That's what it's all about. Okay, our judges are moving down along the line now and next we turn our attention to our prettiest crossbreed bitch finalist. We've got Catherine Dolan here with three-year-old Violet. And Catherine says that Violet the prettiest crossbreed bitch is Violet from Chorley, the Patterdale Lakeland antics. Terrier Cross, who's three Violet years of age, here with Catherine Dolan uh, and Catherine's daughter, Grace. Now, they say that Violet is a typical terrier, endless enthusiasm, and that tail is really going, isn't it? Uh, occasionally, they say uh, Violet, she can be a little bit too clever at times. Uh, she apparently's done quite well at fly ball and terrier racing, but has zero agility. When she's tired, she just loves snuggling inside a dressing gown on the sofa. The dogs here are going to be judged on their backstory as much as their character and the temperament, and of course, the relationship they have with their owners. So it's all about happy, healthy crossbreeds and celebrating great family dogs. It certainly sounds as if Violet loves her family, all that snuggling on the sofa. Plenty of affection. So this is Violet, the prettiest crossbreed bitch. Well, Diesel is 13 years old here as the golden oldie crossbreed, an Airedale Labrador cross described as a gentle giant. And a very special part of Diesel's story is that Claire's described him as a self-taught epilepsy detection dog. He's learnt to bark when Claire's friend who has epilepsy is about to have a seizure and he'll then bring a blanket to protect her. Quite an incredible story. And Claire says of his nature, well, she's never heard him growl at anything. And such as Claire's love for Diesel, she told us during the semi-final that she has Diesel's paw prints on her wedding ring finger. Describes him as the love of her life. Diesel and Claire come from Balbara to Crafts today. This is a real cutie. This is Marnie, who's six years old, with owner Lynn Freeman. Uh, Marnie is a mixed breed. They live in Harlow now, but my word, he was rescued from a kill centre in Romania when he was just two and a half years old. And so Lynn uh, took in Marnie. In fact, when Marnie was rescued, three puppies were rescued with her that weren't her own. However, Marnie took on those puppies herself, produced milk, and saved their lives. Quite a remarkable story. And Lynn says as much as you know, Marnie, in a way, saved Lynn because she came from Romania just a couple of weeks before that first COVID lockdown, so it was such an important companion. Uh, but then equally, well, Lynn saved Marnie, didn't she? By taking her in from Romania. And she was very nervous when she first came, spent three weeks hiding under the dining room table, but just needs some, some love, some affection, some coaxing, and see Radzi being very gentle with Marnie there as well. Now they are here on the world's biggest stage, and it means so much to them. With love and understanding, Marnie seems to have such a calm temperament there, Marnie, just taking production. it all in on the green carpet in front of a packed Lindsay crowd here on the night of Super Saturday in this arena. The Scruffs Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year 2024. Well, it's going to be a tough decision here for Radzi and for Faye. Who are they going to pick as their winner? And say goodbye to Marnie for now. <laughs> so who will be the crossbreed family dog of the year? Who's going to win Scruffed 2024? A big decision here for Radzi and for Faye to make. Which dog has got that extra special something? 
who is going to win Scrafts 2024? A hush in the arena. Final answer. Okay. Let's wait Just for the let announcement. me ask you a quick question. I'll come to you first, Faye. Four amazing stories, four amazing dogs. Difficult? It's always going to be difficult, but I think they're all winners. So, you know, we have four incredible dogs, and I've loved meeting every single one of them. I think everyone else here has as well. So, yeah, they're all incredible, and they're all winners. Thank you, Faye. Right, Rati, are you ready? Yes. Your winner of the James Wellbeloved Scruffs Family Crossbreed Dog of the Year is? It's a tough one, but it's Diesel. Diesel! Diesel, the Airedale Labrador Cross. The dog who taught himself how to detect epilepsy. His owner, Claire, overjoyed, and she said in the semi-finals that Diesel had saved her friend's life more than once. What a special, special dog he is. And at the grand old age of 13, a winner on the famous green carpet. And Diesel is Scruffs champion 2024. Well, what a special moment for Claire Whitehead. She has so much love for Diesel. That's a proud moment for any owner. Beautiful natured dog. For all these dogs are champions. Congratulations. For the relationship they have with their owner. What a moment that is for Claire Whitehead. And for Diesel. He's enjoying himself. Relaxing into this arena atmosphere and loving the attention. And please can we get one final round of applause for all of our Scruff finalists and all of our Scruff semi finalists. Give them a big hand. Well, it's such a fabulous competition. And if you're so watching and you own a crossbreed dog and are thinking, well, we've got a great story to tell as well, you can go online and find out where heats are taking.